Story recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a drama, horror, and mystery film called The Wasteland. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In 19th century Spain, a small family lives in isolation away from a raging war and madness. Diego, the son of Lucia, and Salvador, is a cowardly little boy who often gets scared by the littlest things, like the wooden totems in his room. He wakes up one night with the need to pee and takes his potty, but when he finds one of the totems on the floor, he drops the potty in surprise and ends up breaking it. He goes to his parents' rooms to ask for some company to their latrine, so his father goes with him, bringing along a shotgun. Every little noise spooks Diego, even the rustling of trees, but thankfully, he's able to finish going to the toilet. When they head back inside, Diego goes to Lucia because he's too scared to sleep alone, so Salvador takes his room instead. The next morning, Salvador tries to teach Diego how to kill a rabbit, but he refuses to do so, too afraid to hurt a defenseless animal. He then accidentally drops the rabbit, and it quickly runs through the grasslands. Although Diego tries to chase it and bring it back, he stops when he's about to cross their boundary. It is a perimeter marked off by scarecrow-like wooden posts that they can't cross because they deem it unsafe. Lucia comforts Diego, telling him that he doesn't have to kill the rabbit if he doesn't want to, but Salvador is insistent on making Diego become a man. Although Salvador tries to continue teaching him how to kill an animal, Lucia instead beckons him inside to help her with cooking. The couple seems to be cold with each other, often arguing on how to raise Diego, but it's quite obvious that the boy favors his mother. Diego asks Lucia what will happen to the rabbit that ran past the boundaries, and she gives a straightforward answer that only bad things will because of the war. Lucia raises Diego with much love, always coddling him, letting him treat their food source as pets, playing with him, and even taking baths with him. On Diego's birthday, Diego spies on Salvador as he prepares a gift for him in the attic, so his father shoos him away. Then, he also spies on his mother, but when she sees him, she lets him inside the room. She's planning to dress up nicely for Diego's birthday, choosing to wear a special red dress that Salvador made for her before they started living in isolation. Celebrating Diego's birthday over a meal, Salvador gifts his son a shotgun with his name carved on the handle. Although Diego says he doesn't know how to use it, Salvador is more than eager to teach him. However, Lucia disapproves of the gift and tells Salvador that Diego isn't old enough. To stop Diego from practicing using the shotgun with his father, Lucia gives him her present, which is a tin can telephone toy. The two play a game of I Spy, and then she tells him scary stories for fun. Diego asks Lucia for another scary story, but when she can't think of another one, Salvador starts sharing his own tale instead, an old legend about an evil beast that preys on people's fears. Although Lucia pleads for Salvador not to tell that story, he continues the tale about the tall beast with hollow cheekbones and no eyes in its sockets. Apparently, the beast finds a target and follows it slowly, feeding on its fear as it gets closer. Salvador says that the legend is true, but before he could say any more, Lucia stops him and takes Diego to bed. The next morning, Diego calls Salvador, pointing towards the river where a boat approaches slowly. Salvador takes the shotgun and tells Diego to go back inside the house, but he sticks close to his father instead. On the boat, they find a badly injured man who looks like he's tried cutting his own throat. However, the man is still alive, so Salvador scrambles to help him, thinking he may have been a victim of the war. Meanwhile, Lucia takes the chance to tell Diego how horrible it is beyond their land and that it's a place full of nothing but bad people. While Lucia and Diego are singing together, the mysterious man suddenly comes inside the house. He sees Diego looking at him, then points towards the horizon, seeing something others can't. Then, he suddenly picks up the shotgun, so Lucia immediately stands in front of Diego to protect him. However, the man decides to shoot himself. Lucia tries to cover Diego's view as Salvador rushes over in concern. They then clean up the mess and argue about what they should do with the body, 
until Salvador happens upon a family portrait among the man's belongings. When Diego asks about the man's family, Lucia shouts at him to go to his room. That night, Diego goes through the man's items, so Salvador tells him not to touch them. He then sits with his father at the dining table and sees him redressing old scars on his palm. Alone with his father, Diego asks Salvador to continue the story about his sister and the beast. So, he tells the story of how his sister, who was often beat up by their parents, suddenly started seeing the beast. However, Salvador couldn't, and every day the beast got closer and closer until his sister saw it come inside their room. Then, when Salvador woke up one morning, he saw his sister jump off their bedroom window. The next day, Salvador decides to bring the man's body back to his family, but Lucia pleads for him not to go, thinking he's just making an excuse to leave them. Diego also tells Salvador not to go because it's dangerous, but Salvador has already made up his mind, barely looking back on his family as he tells his son to take care of his mother. On Lucia and Diego's first night in the house without Salvador, they both can't sleep, needing to go to the bathroom. Since they don't have Salvador to accompany them to the latrine anymore, they both try to brave through the darkness of the night. However, their fear takes over as they go back inside the house and take two pots for them to pee on instead. Although they try to go through their days normally and do their usual routines, they begin to feel Salvador's absence. Lucia starts to become more absent-minded, waiting for Salvador to return, while Diego tries to believe that his father will come back soon, saying that he'll be back in a day. Diego greets Lucia on her birthday, but she's becoming distant. To cheer his mother up, Diego bakes her a pie and fixes his own hair, then tells her to make a wish. However, when Diego asks her to play I Spy on their tin can telephone, she refuses, so Diego forces her. He goes out of the house while they use the tin can over the window, but before they could play any further, Lucia suddenly shouts for Diego to go inside as she rushes outside with a shotgun. She scans the area and eventually finds nothing and that's when she returns inside with Diego to hide. While trying to sleep, Diego suddenly has a nightmare about a young Juana, Salvador's sister, pointing towards the beast. Diego then follows Juana, and he sees her jump out of the window. A storm brews outside while they're having dinner one evening, and Lucia stands up after hearing a suspicious noise. Diego hands her the shotgun but protests for a bit, thinking it might be Salvador. However, Lucia is convinced that it isn't, pointing towards a figure in the distance, hiding behind the scarecrows. She starts to shoot, but can't see through the storm, so she goes outside to get closer, while Diego keeps screaming for her to return. A little while later, Lucia goes back inside, telling Diego that she got rid of it. Unfortunately, Lucia's mental state worsens the following day, ignoring Diego whenever he calls for her. Then. When Diego tries to go outside, Lucia scolds him. Although he's told not to leave without his mother's permission, Diego is stubborn and still opens the door, only to be surprised by one of their scarecrows perched by the doorway. Realizing it's been dragged by the storm the previous night, they decide to put it back in place. Diego goes to talk to their rabbits, but Lucia comes by, ordering him to pick one that they'll eat. Although Diego tries to refuse at first, Lucia is stern, telling him that if he doesn't pick, she will. Diego picks one, but hides away as Lucia slaughters the rabbit, and he also refuses to eat the meal. He angrily heads outside, followed by Lucia, who tries to reason with him. Then suddenly, she points the shotgun towards something behind Diego. Lucia slowly walks away from him, trying to aim for what she sees, while Diego is too scared to move from his position. Then. All of a sudden, the strong wind blows the sheets away from the clothesline, and as Diego gets trapped underneath them, he hears Lucia screaming and shouting at something. After a few seconds, Diego removes the sheets from himself and sees his mother shooting at something in the distance. He asks whether it was closer than before, and when his mother says yes, Diego immediately concludes that it must be the beast from the tales. However, Lucia tells him that it isn't real saying that Juana killed herself because her parents beat her up. As Lucia slowly descends into madness, Diego tries to play with her, 
but she keeps waving him off. Then, out of the blue, a loud noise startles them, and something starts banging on their door. Lucia orders Diego to open the door while she waits with a shotgun, but when the creature is revealed, it turns out to be Salvador's horse. Gleeful, Diego suddenly starts running outside, shouting for his father. However, there's no sign of Salvador anywhere. Suddenly, Diego hears a gunshot, followed by his mother shutting the door. So he rushes back, only to see the tall beast waiting by their door. Frightened, Diego hides inside the latrine, where he sees a glimpse of the creature through the cracks. When the creature passes by, Diego runs back inside the house and sees Lucia crying as she tries to process what she saw. The tall creature that wouldn't budge even after she shot it point blank. Diego looks through his father's bags, but Lucia tells him that he's not coming back. Driven to a corner with her anxiety, Lucia destroys their table to use the planks as a barricade for every possible entry in their house. Meanwhile, Diego suddenly runs outside, worried about the rabbits. Lucia then follows him while she shoots at the distance, making sure to cover Diego while he grabs their rabbits. But when they get back inside, Lucia slaps him, telling him never to do that again. The next morning, Lucia tries to teach Diego how to kill with a knife, but he's still disobedient. He then tells Lucia that he prefers to shoot, but Lucia says they only have two bullets left. Days pass, and Lucia's mental state worsens. However, Diego holds on, thinking that Salvador might come back, or at least, hoping that his mother will get better. When Diego wakes up one day, he sees the creature looking through their window, and they hear it climb up to the roof. Lucia forces Diego to climb through the chimney and shoot the beast, but he's understandably scared, shouting at his mother for help. Then, when Diego falls from the chimney, Lucia grabs the shotgun and shoots blindly instead, nearly hitting Diego. But they lose the beast once more. Worried about his mother, Diego tries to take the shotgun's remaining bullet while she's distracted, using the thunder to mask the sounds of him taking the shell. Unfortunately, Lucia still catches him, so he hides inside a room, begging his mother to stop. Lucia repeatedly bangs against his door, but then it quiets down. Diego checks up on his mother, and he sees her talking to the tin can. Lucia wishes for Salvador to come back, saying that she can't take it anymore and that the beast is getting closer and closer. Then, when she sees Diego, she gives him the can, telling him that the beast will come in. Diego listens through the can, but he hears a noise coming from inside the house, and that's when he catches Lucia hanging herself. Diego desperately tries to save his mother by cutting off the rope and then ties her to the bed so she can't do anything dangerous anymore. Determined to take care of Lucia, Diego resorts to killing one of their rabbits so he can feed his mother, who's begging for him to untie her, but he ignores her. Diego attempts to force Lucia to eat, but she refuses. He also tries to comfort his mother, but she's already unwell, crying until she falls asleep. When Diego wakes up that night, he hears the tin can roll near the bed. He then picks it up and feels something pulling it from the other end, so he throws it outside the room. However, the tin can only rolls back inside. Curious, Diego picks it up once more, but this time, he puts it to his ear. Diego hears something talk from the other end, trying to play I Spy with him, so he throws it again before shutting the door. Panicking, he unties his mother while telling her to get up. They try to run away, but since the beast is already inside their home, Diego tells Lucia to hide while he distracts it. He throws various items to ward off the creature, but he soon realizes his mother is gone. He then finds her at the dining table, wearing her red dress, and has cut her hair while trying to rock a wooden doll on a crib, thinking it's a baby. She also starts talking to someone from the other end of the table, as if Salvador is there, which spooks Diego. With their time running out, Diego tells Lucia that he needs to pee and wants her to accompany him just to get her out of the house. However, Lucia pushes Diego and locks him out when he steps outside, saying that the beast wants her. Diego tries to call for his mother, using an axe to force his way through the house as he hears Lucia screaming. Unfortunately, when he gets inside, 
he sees Lucia bleeding on the floor, holding a knife. In the corner of the room, Diego sees the beast slowly moving closer towards them. Although scared at first, Diego ignores his fear and faces the creature, shouting for it to get away from his mother. Diego's bravery seems to work against the beast as he tries to step closer to it while it backs away. He then shoots it with a shotgun point blank, but since he's not able to kill it, he pours gasoline all over their house and sets it on fire before carrying his mother outside. Diego carries Lucia to a wagon before struggling to carry her away. However, Diego hesitates to go past the perimeter, but with Lucia's small encouragement, he treads forward to unknown lands. He then stops by a marsh to give Lucia some water, but unfortunately, she has already passed away. Heartbroken, Diego sets her body to the water, accepting her death, when suddenly, he sees the beast in front of him once more. But the beast doesn't try to get Diego as he shows no signs of fear. He then looks at his palms and sees wounds similar to his father's. And as he covers his wounds with pieces of Lucia's red dress, he reminisces about the happy memories he's had with his mother. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like, it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.